I had a choice uh, a few years ago. Uh, it was 2015, I believe it was 2015, and you'll be able to tell here in a minute because uh, my beard was a little darker. Um, if I grow it out right now, it's pretty white. But um, I, I, I went, a buddy of mine, Jim Kyle, he pastors in Rosenberg, uh, he said, hey man, we're gonna do a little adventure for my birthday. And uh, I was like, awesome, what are we doing? He goes, it's a surprise. And I was like, I like surprises. And he said, he told us where to meet. It was me and a few other guys. And he told us how to dress. I was like, well, how am I dressing? Are we, like, I'm thinking we're gonna go paintballing or I don't know what we're gonna go do. And, and about, uh, about a mile from the place, he pulls the car over and he says, uh, hey guys, for my 40th birthday, we're gonna jump out of a plane. The boy got a choice. I could be the dude in the car that's like, nah, y'all gonna jump out of a plane. Or I could just be me. Take a look at this. If I've ridden bulls and saddlebrock horses, I think I can jump out of planes. I'm good. I'm a little nervous, but I feel good. I feel like it's going to be an experience I've never had before. So we're going to 14,000 feet. That is correct. You're going to free fall back to the ground at how fast? 120 miles per hour. 120 miles an hour. That's yeah. pretty quick, I'm right? I'm ready for that. You got anything you want to say before we jump? I'm just going to say, listen, conquer your fear. Don't let your fear conquer you. super good until about one second out of the plane <laughs> and at that point I was like oh my god I'm out of a plane this is happening and it's really happening and I've got like this sinus thing going on so my ears completely clogged up so I kind of it was awesome though very cool play walk me through everything though man it was great safe to say that you're gonna go again Ro, yeah, right absolutely. This very cool so fun man I encourage everybody to jump out of a plane at least once why not I got I gotta tell you I gotta tell you I lied when he said, would you do it again? I was like, yeah, never. <laughs> it was amazing. But at some point, you gotta decide. I'm either gonna stay in the hangar and be the guy who watched everybody do it, or I'm gonna live the experience that God has called me to live. I'm gonna do the thing that God has called me to do, and I'm gonna do it afraid, and I'm gonna do it scared, and it's gonna be weird, because I'm gonna have some dude on my back. That was strange but I understood that I couldn't do it by myself. I had to have somebody help me. And I want you to know this, you're not alone. You're not doing this walk by yourself. Even if you're all by yourself, you still have God in your corner. And the third and last thing that I would tell you is you, you just gotta get it to Jesus. Get the, the brokenness to Jesus. Get the pain to Jesus. I love what Colossians 1.16 says. It says, for everything, absolutely everything, above and below, visible and invisible, everything got started in him and finds its purpose in him. Ephesians 1.11 says, it's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Part of the overall purpose he is working out in everything and everyone. Can I tell you this? It always starts with Jesus and it always ends with Jesus. And no matter how messed up you've been, no matter how bad your life has been, no matter how challenging you yourself have been, God has a plan and a purpose for you. It's not over. Can I, can I encourage you? Start the business. Yeah, it's been a hard year. Do it anyway. Franchise the operation. 
Go all in on the organization. Go on a missions trip. We, we served homeless people this week in the pouring rain on Wednesday night at Montrose Street Reach. Why? Because we have people who care more about other people than they do about their own comfort. Go all in. At some point, you got to serve somebody other than yourself. And it all starts with recognizing and realizing that Jesus loves you. He cares for you. I love this verse of Scripture, Acts 10, 35. It says, it makes no difference who you are or where you're from. If you want God and are ready to do as he says, the door is open. The door is open. Somebody say, the door is open. The door is open for you. It's open. It's not closed. It's open. I'm just waiting on a door to open. It's open. You take the step. Lord, I, I pray right now that you would encourage people this weekend to take the step that you've called them to take, to do the thing that you've called them to do, to start this year trusting you implicitly, trusting you, abandoning ourselves, and trusting you, and believing that your plan is better than ours. And it all begins with giving you our lives unequivocally everything we